<sighs> Sir, please tell me you're not scrapping this car, are you? Oh, I'm gonna. No. I can't get the thing. <laughs> I can't see it. Man. I'm trying to unplug the O2 sensor to get it to run better. Fuck it. Oh, shit. Oh, trouble. Uh-oh. Call INS. So, what do you got today now? Dear, this is a this is a classic. It's a classic. A classic. Is this a classic? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 shit. oh. How did you know? How did you know? <laughs> you made this from a toaster screw to a Twinkie. <laughs> Ain't no file of the green pie. An '87 Reliant. Oh, what you want to tell me? '88 Reliant. You want to you want to tell me the special uh, option it has? Oh yes. Crazy enough behind the wheel? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a five-speed. Factory five-speed. And the door switch doesn't work on this side. Obviously, you replaced the the dashboard on it. Yeah. Replace the dash. Replace the steering wheel. Yep. Luxury. <laughs> I replaced these because the ones in here were bad. These ones are pretty nice. So, see how the rear seat's faded? I gotta find one. Oh okay. yeah. Surprisingly, the headliner's still up, but it's not. But it's faded. Yeah, isn't that weird? It's turned like yellow. Grayish yellow. Here's a nifty option right here. Standard equipment. Is it standard? Oh yeah, on 88 and 89. Then if you want to look yourself in the mirror while jerking yourself off. Yeah, you can shine the light right on your nuts so you can squeeze them. <laughs> <laughs> we give K-Car owners a bad day. Yes, we do. Because we're trolls. We're related to trolls. Oh, yes. Buff buffoons, trolls. Idiots. Idiots. Uh, fat fucks. Fat fucks. Can't forget that. Yeah. You know what's funny? You stupid motherfuckers. You sitting there talking shit about us. How many of these have you fixed? Huh? How many? Exactly. None. We fixed this one. The uh, uh, station wagon. The 24K. Well, I fixed the brake lines on it. I fixed the head. That's right. Yeah, you did. Had a, had tear, had brought brought or? back with love. And this car sat for how long? This one was five years. Oh, okay. I thought it was more than that. Well, I maybe it was. Maybe six. I'd have to ask my buddy. I don't know. Yeah, how long How long did he have that? Well, I think he had it for like five years. So before he got it, I have no clue. It's been vandalized. Someone painted a peace sign on it. Yeah. <clears throat> and a heart. You can see the heart. Oh, that's even worse. Or now. turn it upside down, it's a nut sack. <laughs> <laughs> Missing some tires. Yeah, it doesn't have the right wheels on it. Um, it had Cavalier wheels in the back. One of them's still there. This one exploded on the way home. So it has donut now. Shut it! Yeah, that's gotta go. <clears throat> At least this car is fixable, like on the rust-wise. Yeah. The floor is not... It's not too It's bad. not bad, but just on the... Yeah, look at that. It's like the front. From the grass. But... That's not too bad, that's repairable. Yeah, it'll get fixed. Careful now. Oh dear. Oh dear. And the windshield, of course. That was actually fine. This was vandalized down by St. Louis. It was dropped off at a shop to have the head gasket and stuff fixed. They didn't want to do it, so they dropped it back off um, at my buddy's place that he used to have. And it sat on the road, it sat like in front of the gate for overnight. And in the morning, this is how it was found. This trim's damaged here, and the windshield was shattered. Because people down in St. Louis, they do rock at it. They don't like this. They're not a Chevy. <laughs> it's not an Impala, that's why. Yes, yeah, so they, someone vandalized it, just because it was there. And is, how many miles does this have? Uh, I don't know. Add a one to whatever it says. <laughs> 135. 130, yeah, most likely 135. I don't think it's trash enough to be 235. I was trying to get the 
Oh, the pattern? Yeah, but... I put that radio in it. This was an original AM car, but the radio was missing. So it only had one speaker in the dash? It was gone, but yeah. But I put two speakers in the front, and I need to get some for the back. It's okay. pre-wired. So that's the ultimate sound system. Oh, yeah, and then the steering wheel. Yes, luxury instead of sticky bass crap. I did, I put the mirror on it, too. It didn't have a mirror over here. Oh, okay. So you have to replace the inner felt, and you got to cut the door strip and replace the um, the window too. I'm surprised because usually these these K cars are always rattly, like clack 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 clack. But this one isn't too bad. Most of the noise you hear is from a weird emissions tube that went into the original air cleaner that goes to the catalytic converter that really? needs to be removed. That's why you hear that the. Like, I'm talking like how my uh, 86 was. Yeah, or they're like, the Lancers like that too. Like, <laughs> yeah, a lot of the noise on this is actually coming from, uh... well, I can't find it. Oh yeah, and Dodge Omni air cleaner. Yeah, I put that on there. They're way better than air filters are easier to find. Where is that tube? I can't see it, but it's down there somewhere. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's where most of the noise is coming from. If you cover it, then it doesn't do that anymore. That's why you can kind of smell the exhaust yeah. there too. That's why. So that's gotta go. Prop back with love. Yup. <laughs> I was bored. I wrote that after it started, I was so fucking happy. So I wrote on there. It's got a new, I put a new coil in it too. New head gasket, timing belt, valve cover gasket, and obviously this. New bullshit there. Yeah, I mean it. Oh, and it has the cut your finger off special. It does. See? Right here. I shouldn't touch this because it's running, but yeah, look at that. No safety. <laughs> that's a that's finger looking good quality right there. <laughs> Rebuilt trans. Yeah. <laughs> a rebuilt Bruce Jenner. And, uh, oh yeah, and copper lines that I replaced on your car. Yeah, it has all copper brake lines. So they'll never well, rust again. Except for, up, except for up here that goes to the proportioning valve. Well, if you can, can kind of see one of them that's down there, maybe. I don't know. Show them to me. You see real good there. Oh yeah. Well, I had to replace the hood. Yeah, yeah, there they are. Right there. <clears throat> Did he tell you I got another one of these wagons? Yeah. It runs perfect. It needed a timing belt. It runs. I don't know what else So any last words to the to the anybody out there? Yeah. We're fixing these things. You think you're so so cool because oh they're being silly or trolls or stupid we're actually out here putting these motherfuckers back on the streets and i'm, I'm on the process of rebuilding that engine over there that 2.5 for this truck and uh we converted that van to a manual yeah you could kind of see it <clears throat> well you can't really see it but yeah, you, you sold me the trans on that one. Yeah. What homo drives a challenger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and as a special treat, in a couple weeks, we're getting another 81 Reliant Classic SE. Ooh. With a factory CV radio and what? power bucket seat. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What? One owner. One, one owner, owner only. Yeah. We're getting that, too. I hope you look forward to seeing it. We'll be glad to show it to you. So, if you haven't subscribed to my page, to a certain person in California, better do it now. Because we got K cars for days. Yep. And they're all going to the crusher. All going to the crusher. <laughs> and this guy's going to help me take them there. Yes. We got that big old Ford truck over there. We're going to haul him. He's going to crush him with his dick, is what he's going to do. <laughs> uh, two inches at a time. <laughs>